this is gonna be a long one. <laughs> Hey y'all, what's up? My name is Avery and today I'm going to be talking about all of the ebooks that I hauled in May. Okay, <laughs> there are so many books on this list, like so many books that I hauled in May, like it's crazy. And then I'm looking and I hauled even more <laughs> in June. I hauled like a million in June. I don't know what to do with my life. <laughs> I don't know what to do. There's so many and I don't think y'all want to watch videos that are super duper long. Please let me know down below if you want a like June ebook call that is like the whole thing with it looks like I have like 50 here like all 50 in one video like because that's gonna be an hour long or do you want me to split it into two because I could do that so please let me know because uh I think I have literally 50 already and June isn't even over yet so if you didn't know about this series that I have, I do ebook calls where I get a lot of books for free online. Um, I spend a lot of my free time just browsing Amazon when I'm bored. So the first book is called With a Twist by Stacey Hart. It is the first book in the Bad Habits series and it is still currently free on Amazon. Love is somewhere near the bottom of Lily Thomas's list of life goals, right next to competitive eating and underwear cave diving. She spent six years pirouetting and plieing her way to the ranks of the New York Ballet with her eyes set on the prize and love in the back seat. But now that Blaine Baker, Lily's longtime crush, is finally single, she'll throw her rules out of the window without thinking twice. Reality with Blaine isn't as epic as the fantasy she imagined, and the truth sends her spinning straight into the arms of the man she never knew she always wanted. West Williams has been best friends with Lily since the day she moved into their building, and he saved her armoire from a swift, sudden death by staircase. Their friendship has always been easy. The boundaries clearly defined with neither of them willing to risk their relationship. They've drifted happily through their years as companions, never considering more. That is until they do. And that realization changes everything. Next, I downloaded The Voyeur by Ellis O'Day. This is still currently free and I have already read this one. So be sure to check out my May wrap up. I believe it's in my May wrap up or it's going to be my June wrap up but I've already read this one. When Patrick stumbles across a maid in La Petite More Club, watching a couple, he can't keep his hands off of her. She's cute, sexy, and kinky, just the way he likes his women. Until he discovers that she's the younger sister of one of his best friends, which means she's in the hands-off department. Annie is tired of guys staying away from her because of her overprotective brother. She's determined to convince Patrick that she should not be off limits and that his hands should definitely be all over her body. Next, I have Heart of Fire by Beck McMaster. This is the first book in the Legends of Storm series and this is still currently free on Amazon. The old Edis speaks of Draekei, fabled creatures who haunt the depths of Iceland's volcanoes and steal away fair maidens. Freya wants none of such myths. Draekei seducing young ladies? Ha, they probably eat such foolish girls. But when the local Draekei steals her last ram, coaxing her any chance of feeding her ale father through the winter, Freya intends to confront the fearsome myth. Sentenced to a life of exile from his clan, Rurik is fascinated by the furious woman who comes to claim her ram. She reeks of mysterious magic and challenges him in every step. He intends to claim the passionate firebrand, but to do so he must take mortal form. That's the only time the Draegai risk. But lonely Freya, with her elf-cursed eyes and pragmatic soul, tempts him in ways he never felt before. Is she the key to reclaiming his heritage, or will she be his downfall? Next we have Further to Fall by Catherine Cowles. This was free when I bought it, but it is now on Kindle for $3.99. An MMA fighter trying to take on the world, a teacher trying to make the world a better place, a friendship neither expected. Until one night, one mistake tore them apart. Losing her almost broke him, but he climbed his way out of the darkness and now he's back and determined to battle for his girl. But from the sidelines, someone watches, someone who'll do just about anything to keep them apart. Their second chance, might be over before it even begins. Next, I have Rough Edge by C.D. Reese, the first book in the Edge series. This was free when I got it, but it's not free anymore. You can get it for either $2.99 or if you have Kindle Unlimited, it is on Kindle Unlimited. He's her husband, but he's not the man she married. Caden and Grayson come home from deployment to build a life together. Everything is perfect until Caden starts changing into a different man, one with a savage edge that is as dangerous as it is sexy. Who is her husband? What has he become? 
and why. Caden takes part in an experimental treatment, one that intensifies the break between who he was and who he's becoming, while Grayson hunts down answers, putting together pieces of a puzzle that begins in Iraq and ends in their bedroom. The cure may be worse than the disease, and as Caden's roughness hits new heights, so does Grayson's pleasure. She's falling in love with a man she never married, a man whose very existence is a mystery, one who she's hell-bent on destroying. With time running out and forces bigger than their marriage working against them, Grayson needs to put together the pieces before Caden takes it all too far. Next, I got the first two books in the Stone River series by Kay Lons. The first book is called Worth the Wait. It is still currently free on Amazon. Some people say it's hard to tell between love or lust, but sometimes it's not hard to tell at all. 12 years is a lifetime when it comes to age and love. And if the man is your father's best friend, well, let's just say unrequited feelings tend to be awkward. But Lainey knows what she wants, who she wants, and she's a firm believer that sometimes a girl just has to go for broke and take a chance. Rand Mitchell has done everything he can to avoid Lainey Wyatt due to his awareness of her and in a small town that's not easy, especially when his 911 call results in Lainey appearing at his EMT. But it's then with her blushes and smiles and follow-up visits that he wonders if maybe he's not the only one fighting his feelings. Tragedy strikes Lainey and her family and Rand steps up to help Lainey, but with their age difference, her father and a small town gossip stacked up against them, can what they feel really be? love. And so the next book in the series is Not By Sight. This is also still currently free. Emma Wyatt agrees to tutor a recently blinded, embittered soldier because of the $50,000 paycheck his brother offers. The job is an answer to so many prayers. Blind herself, Emma dreams of independence and freedom away from her overprotective family. Tutoring Ian in all things blind isn't easy, especially when the biggest challenge is not falling in love with a student who could hinder her dreams. Good soldiers show no weakness. Ian McGregor holds his battle with claustrophobia close to his chest. Unsuccessfully trying to cope with his own, Ian knows duty, honor, serving his country. So why is he being punished with his very personalized hell? As Ian struggles to strong arm his phobia, his growing feelings for Emma are overshadowed by the danger lurking around them. Emma would be better off with someone else, someone sighted, someone able to protect her from the person determined to tear them apart. Next, I have Claimed Royalty, the first book in the Crowned and Claimed series by Betty Schreffler. And this is still currently free on Amazon. In a world where a woman's purity is the fine line between being queen and being killed, he was given one duty, to protect my purity and above all, to protect me. Both were a battle we weren't ready for. Forced by tradition and as their chosen queen, I must endure my trials and the suitor phase, ultimately giving myself to a man from the royal houses. Each one competes to be my king, all wanting what no other has had, my purity. To have what I truly want would mean risking my entire reign, but to do what is expected of me would destroy my heart. My only protection is to follow through, giving each royal the opportunity to win their prize, me in a bedroom suite, and a crown on top of their head. Behind closed doors, I commit my biggest sin, loving a man I'm forbidden to have. When the time comes for me to be crowned, I'll be forced to make a choice, risk our love or risk my life. Next, I downloaded this book off of Kindle Unlimited. We have Knockout by Sophie Austin. She's my best friend's little sister, so I can't touch her, but nobody said anything about looking. Molly O'Brien is perfect, sassy mouth with sultry lips. She can't fight me forever. That's what I do for a living, kick other guys' butts take what's mine. MMA fighting is my way out of my family's mafia business, and I won't let anything stand in my way. But Molly's letting her guard down, and I'm not afraid to take a risk. Her brother, my family, her hate of my sport. This is about to get real interesting. Good thing. I like a challenge. Next, I downloaded The Bravta's Baby, a dark mafia romance by Henry Jane. This is a part of the Wicked Doms series. This is not currently free anymore, but it is on Kindle Unlimited, or you can purchase it for $4.99. My orders are simple. Capture her, marry her, take her inheritance, get rid of her. The bookish little recluse is worth more than she knows. She's an unassuming librarian. I'm the, I do not know how to pronounce that word. I am the Brig, Brigladder. Oh my gosh, that's probably horrible. She has no friends. I command a small army. She is a modest woman and now she's mine. Next, I downloaded Dangerous by Nora Ash. This is the first book in the Made and Broken series and it is still currently free. Blaine, I hurt, break, and kill for a living. The family point, 
I deliver. But this time they ask too much. This time they want me to marry the one woman who knows my secret. She has reason to hate me, I know, but I'll take her, I'll break her, and I'll make her mine. That's the only way I can keep my secret. Mira. When I ran away eight years ago, I thought I had escaped the underworld I'd always known. I made a life for myself. I thought I was free. Then my past came knocking at my door. Now I'm marrying the son of London's biggest crime family, a man who hates me as much as I hate him. He's ruthless, brutal, and dangerous. Everything I've always feared. He's taken away the life I built. He's taken away my freedom. And now I fear he's taken away my sanity too. How else could I be falling in love with him? Next, we have One Last Risk, A Small Town Romance by Nancy Stopper, the first book in the Oak Grove series. This is still currently free. A guilt-driven firefighter, a widowed mother. Neither is ready for love, but love has other plans. Firefighter Lucas Bennett had the carefree life he's always wanted until a deadly blaze took the life of his company mate and best friend. Blaming himself was easy, but putting himself from the tailspin of guilt proved to be much harder. The fog of sadness and guilt pushed him down a dangerous path until he nearly died fighting the beast. Forced to stop and reevaluate his life, he decided to make a change before it was too late. A fire took almost everything from Sarah Robinson, her husband, and her home, leaving her to raise their precious daughter alone. Everywhere she looked held memories for her husband, pouring salt on her ever-present wound. Unable to live any longer around the memories of her husband, she and her daughter moved to Oak Grove, far away from the grief of their past. All Sarah needed was the chance to start a new life for her and her daughter. A car accident on a dark rainy night puts Sarah and Lucas on a collision course neither of them expected. With questions they're not ready to answer, can a single mother open her broken heart for a second chance at love? Will a broken firefighter risk his heart for what might be his only chance at forever? Are each of them willing to take one last risk together? His risk, her reward, together they'll mend each other's broken hearts. Next I have Desolate by Autumn Gray, the first book in the Grace trilogy, and this is not free anymore, but it is on Kindle Unlimited or you can purchase it for $3.99. There are angels and demons at war inside my head. I had it all figured out, finish high school, attend seminary, and finally answer my calling of becoming a priest. What I hadn't counted in the equation was her. Grace Miller, the girl who always was out of my reach, the girl who still makes me lose my breath with just a look. Little did I know she would become my temptation and vice and quite possibly my ruin. Now I'm standing at a crossroads and my head is a battlefield. How do I choose sides when it means losing a part of who I am? Next I have Dark King by C.N. Crawford, the first book in the C. Fay series. This is not free anymore, but you could get it off of Kindle Unlimited or purchase it for $3.99. A snarky fae, a sexy king, and forbidden desire deep as the sea. The first book in a three book series. Once I was a fae princess with sea magic at my fingertips. Now I'm a hunted supernatural in a squalid shop stripped of my power. My only comforts are stale cookies, Elvis records, and my hula hoop. Until a lethally sexy fae king arrives and rips even those away. After the brutal king throws me in prison, I strike a bargain with him, my freedom in exchange for helping him find a magic blade. What Lear doesn't know is that the blade might restore my stolen magic. But as we journey, the gorgeous jerk is starting to make me feel things I've never felt. Why Lear touches me, desire ignites. I see raging passion in his eyes too. If I give in, I risk losing my chance at reclaiming my power. Even worse, I could forfeit my life. Next, I have King of the Fae, a hot fantasy romance by Ava Mason, the first book in the Blood Court series. This is not free anymore, unfortunately, but it is on Kenda Unlimited or you can purchase it for $2.99. She wasn't supposed to be his fated mate. She is the human destined to destroy his world. He is the Fae King sent to kill her. He wasn't supposed to fall in love with her. She wasn't supposed to be his fated mate. Everyone's 21st birthday is supposed to be something to remember, a milestone, a step into real adulthood. My birthday was when everything changed. That's the day the men showed up. Everywhere I went, they watched me, creeping closer, trying to find a second when I was alone. They all wanted the same thing, to capture me and bring me back to their world. One was different, dark, mysterious, and sexy. He stood out from the rest. He had come for my blood. Okay, we're gonna stop the video for shout out mug time. I try and shout out one person in every video that I do. So let's see who's today's shout out is going to be. It's going to be this one, who is... Oh my goodness, it's Lily from Lily Eleanor Reads. Uh, she is another co-host in the Hunger Games read-along that we're all doing together. I love her so much. I love all of her knowledge on Hunger Games. Hunger Games is like 
her favorite book of all time or Catching Fire is like her favorite book of all time. I just, I love her love that she has for this series. It is <laughs> so amazing. Um, I love talking Hunger Games with her. She's a Hunger Games nerd like me. She knows way more about Hunger Games than me though. She's read it way more times than me. <laughs> she reads a wide range of genres. She just tried out romance for the first time. She had like a reading vlog of her reading like five or six romances for the first time ever and I loved it. <laughs> she read some of my favorite books in that video. Um, so if you haven't checked out Lily yet, please do. I love her so very much. I know that y'all will as well. Next, I downloaded The Billionaire Bachelor, A Brother's Best Friend Suite Romance by Judy Corey. This is the first book in a second chance for the rich and famous series. I downloaded this for free at the time, but it's not free anymore. You could download it off of Kindle Unlimited or you could purchase it for $3.99. His best friend's sister is still off limits. Billionaire Drew Burrows had high hopes of finding love as The Bachelor on a reality TV show. Instead, he's sent home with a girlfriend he doesn't really like. When his best friend's little sister is hired by the show, he realizes his girlfriend doesn't stand a chance because his feelings for Kate didn't disappear when she became someone else's wife. Kate Dawson has two goals, get her screenplays on the big screen and keep her divorce a secret. So when her new boss insists that she pushed Drew towards an engagement, she promises to do her best. But soon she discovers that working closely with Drew brings back powerful memories of a fateful night seven years ago that started with a stolen kiss and ended in heartbreak. With the world watching and the paparazzi around every corner, Drew and Kate must decide whether to follow the rules or allow their hearts to finally have their way. Next, I downloaded Drake and Abduction, Exile to the Prison Planet, a sci-fi menage romance by Lily Zander, the fourth book in the Dragons in Exile series. Downloaded this for free at the time, but it's not free anymore, but you could purchase it for $3.99 or it is on Kindle Unlimited. How to fail as an intergalactic spy. One, crash spaceship on wrong planet. Two, break leg. Three, get abducted by rogue prisoners. Four, end up with two pairs of dragon shifters claiming I am their mate. Here's a report for the CIA. The aliens are freaking good kissers. The mission was simple. Go to the Zoran planet, spy on the aliens. One spaceship crash later, we're the guests of a savage bunch of exiles. My cover as a bombshell bimbo is too good because now four alien dragons are fighting over me. They intend to court me until I choose between them. Secret mission or not, I'm not gonna end up with two dragon mates. Next. I downloaded Wanderlust, a dark romance novel by Sky Warren. This was free at the time. Unfortunately, it's not free anymore, but you could purchase it for $4.99. Can love come from pain? Evie always dreamed of seeing the world, but her first night at a motel turns into a nightmare. Hunter is a rugged trucker willing to do anything to keep her, including kidnapping. As they cross the country in his rig, Evie plots her escape, but she may find what she's looking for right beside her. Next, I have Mad Love by Colette Abidi. Hopefully that's how you pronounce her name. And this is still currently free. On a tropical island vacation, virgin Sophie Walker turns up the heat with British tycoon Clayton Sinclair. But is his possessive side too much for her to handle? 23 years is long enough to spend under my parents thumb bored out of my mind by law school and by my boyfriend I decide to take a much needed break so with my two besties in tow Maldives Islands here we come I was ready for adventure I was ready for anything I wasn't ready for him my old life might have been boring but Clayton doesn't even seem real and when I discover what he's hiding I wish none of it was. Next, I downloaded Tangled Up in Ice by Charlotte Bird. This is still currently free and it looks like it is the first book in the Tangled series. I have debts to pay and secrets to keep. When someone threatens my life, I crash into him. Jackson Ludlow, the reclusive billionaire of New York. Once he had everything a man could want, then he lost the only thing he ever loved. So he spent four years holed up in his mansion doing the best thing he knew how to do make money. We were all wrong for each other. He's cold, uninterested, and demanding. I'm impatient and inexperienced. The only thing we have in common is that we both have secrets, and the closer we get, the more they threaten to destroy us. Next, I downloaded Brooklyn Air by Serena Bowen. At the time, it was free. Unfortunately, it's not free anymore, but you could purchase it for $4.99 if you're interested, and it is included in Audible Escape. You'd think a billion dollars a professional hockey team would satisfy a guy. You'd be wrong. For seven years, Rebecca has brightened my office with her wit and her smile. She manages both my hockey team and my sanity. I don't know when I started waking in the night craving her. All I know is that one whiff of her perfume ruins my concentration. When Rebecca gets hurt, I step into help. That's what friends do. But what friends don't do is rip off each other's clothes in a single wild night together. Now she's avoiding me. She says we're too different and it can never happen. So why can't we keep our hands off of each other? Next, I downloaded Bitter Heat 
by Mia Knight. This is the first book in the Singed series and unfortunately it's not free anymore but you could purchase it for $4.99 if you're interested. She was the wood, he was the flame. After this they would be ash. A cruel twist of fate leaves Jasmine Hennessy stranded in a remote cabin with her worst nightmare her ex-husband, James Roth, who she hasn't seen in five years. He isn't acting like the man she married, but does she even really know him? One Night Together kicks off a series of events that threatens her freedom as Roth seeks vengeance on those who ruined him seven years ago. He's determined to bring her back into the world she left behind where money is king, reputation is everything, and people will kill to keep their secrets. Next, I downloaded Highland Secret by Kerrigan Byrne. At the time, this was free. Unfortunately, it's not free anymore, but you could purchase it for $2.99 or get it off of Kindle Unlimited. He's cursed with eternal silence. Roderick McLaughlin is death for hire. Blessed by an ancient deity with berserker rage, he has the strength of ten men. Cursed by a malicious enemy, he's incapable of speech. A desperate clan war rages around him and a malevolent adversary lurks in the darkness, calling for blood. Evelyn Woodhouse is an English refugee with a dangerous secret. She has the ability to see the outcome of tomorrow's battle and she knows they're on the wrong side of it. When a doomed and silent mercenary rescues her from a fate worse than death, it seems he has his own plans for her. This is his last night alive and she's never been able Able to defy destiny. Next, I downloaded Playing a Player by Ivy Smoke. This is the first book in the Sweet Cravings series. This isn't free anymore, but it is on Kenda Unlimited or you can purchase it for $4.99. My last single friend just got married, leaving me roommateless. When Rory shows up at my door, I'm more than a little surprised to find out that a guy has answered my ad. Living with a man wasn't exactly what I had in mind, especially one as handsome as Rory. He's charming, confident, and completely off limits. He's a total player. I don't want to end up getting played. But when all the other applicants don't seem like a good fit, I can't help but let my mind wander back to him. What's the worst that could happen if I let him move in? It's not like I'm going to fall in love with him. Next, I downloaded Protecting the Heiress, an undercover bodyguard romance, the first book in the Heiress duet by Nana Malone. This is still currently free. One royal error in judgment was all it took for me to lose everything. I've wasted years waiting to get my life back and I finally have an opportunity. It's a simple undercover job, but with a catch. A 13 month old crying diaper wearing catch because I'm not going undercover as a cook or a driver. I'm the new nanny. It will get me back in the royal family's good graces. I'll grin and bear it. Even on the worst days, I know it will be worth it. I'll keep my head down and do my job. But it's getting harder and harder to ignore my forbidden attraction to the baby's mother. The attraction that could ruin my last chance at getting back in the palace. So I'll just get back in her bed one more time. Next, I downloaded The Glow of the Dragon's Heart, a girl and her dragon shifter romance prequel by Wyla Hart. This is still currently free. Who knew dragons could be so hot? <laughs> I grew up as a trash bag kid. I don't want to even try counting how many foster homes I've lived in since I was orphaned at the age of five. When some long lost relatives take me in during my last year in the system, I'm careful to remain on my best behavior. Finding family and living together happily ever after has always been a secret fantasy, so getting the boot would be devastating. But these perfect strangers are turning out to be perfectly strange. Like when they tell me dragons are real and my great aunt's husband just happens to be one. But before I can pack my few belongings and bolt, I see evidence with my own eyes. Then I catch sight of my new uncle's five gorgeous nephews and decide maybe dragons aren't so bad after all. Next, I downloaded The Chase by L. Kennedy, the first book in the Briar U series. This is still currently free. Everyone says opposites attract, and they must be right, because there's no logical reason why I'm so drawn to Colin Fitzgerald. I don't usually go for tattooed covered, video gaming, hockey playing nerd jocks who think I'm flighty and superficial. His narrow view of me is the first strike against him. It doesn't help that he's buddy buddy with my brother and that his best friend has a crush on me and that I moved in with them. Oh, and did I mention we're roommates? I suppose it doesn't matter. Fitzy has made it clear that he's not interested in me even though the sparks between us are liable to burn our house down. I'm not the kind of girl who chases after a man though and I'm not about to start. I've got my hands full dealing with my new school, a sleazy professor and an uncertain future. So if my sexy brooding roommate wises up and realizes what he's missing, he knows where to find me. Next, I downloaded Aries, the Zodiac Queen book one by Gemma James. This is still currently free. 12 men, a virgin queen, one arranged marriage. First time I met the boys of the Zodiac Brotherhood, I was forced to my knees for the introduction. Still grieving the death of my parents, I was a young queen, a pawn in my uncle's agenda for wealth and gain. As my guardian, he has the authority to arrange my marriage upon my 18th birthday. That meeting took place six years ago. Now these boys are powerful men, 12 headstrong men who want to own me, and I must spend a month with each one, mending and yielding to their desires and commands, shredding pieces of my innocence so long as my virtue remains 
plans intact because they want a virgin queen after the last month concludes and my uncle plans to auction me off to the highest bidder. Out of the 12 men, only one can have my heart and only one can claim my hand in marriage. If only we're up to me to decide. So there you have it. Those are the many, many, many books that I downloaded in the month of May. That was a lot. Uh, there are even more <laughs> in June. So please let me know down below. Do you want a full video of June? That might be an hour long or do you want me to split it up for y'all? Let me know down below if you have read any of these books or if you plan to. But anyways, thank y'all so, so much for watching. I will see y'all soon in my next one. Bye!